Hi guys, the Raspberry Pi Pico has just launched. I also just try and learn the basics. For this video, I will share how I created a device that can be used in a lucky draw contest. Before that, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using a Raspberry Pi Pico with MicroPython, Growth LCD I2C, and I built a simple PCB using SnapMaker. There are three buttons connected to GP13, GP12, and reset button. Then the piezo buzzer is connected to the GP18. The rest, I just extend more pinouts for Pico. For the Grove I2C LCD, I connected ground to ground VCC to 5V, SDA to GP14, and SCL to GP15. Make sure the connection is correct. Then connect the Raspberry Pi Pico to the computer using a USB cable. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 400 with Raspberry Pi OS as my computer. I update the OS to the latest version. You can do so with update and upgrade because we need the latest version of Tony Python for Pico. Open the Tony Python IDE. Make sure it can detect the MicroPython on the Raspberry Pi Pico. As stated here, the version is 1.13. For this tutorial, it will involve three files. One main file and two support files or library. First, we create the main file. You can find the sample code in the Cytron tutorial page. Save it to Pico and name it as main.py. Then for the library file, I will create a new folder called lib. This is optional so that the files in Pico are more organized. Next, save the library file into the lib folder with the following name. Again, save the library file into the lib folder with the following name. If everything goes well, now click run to execute the program. This code example will generate a random number from 1 to 38 and display it on the LCD. The range of the number is hardcoded in the coding. As you can see, the random number is keep generating. To stop it, press button 1. It will slow down and stop at the lucky number. For example, the lucky number is 19. Here is a list of names I used in the Raspberry Pi Pico contest. 
So number 19 will point to those names. If you have a list of more or less names, you can change the coding here at line 72. For now, the number range starts from 1 to 38. Let's try another round. To run again, press button 2. And press button 1 to stop it. So that's all for today. You can share your Raspberry Pi Pico projects. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.